Everything that he went through, he still has no hate. He wants everybody to get along. This house off Staples Mill Road in Richmond. It's beyond words. Stands 4,500 miles away from Lithuania and light years from World War II. Absolutely marvelous and I don't think it could be done by too many people. But the homeowner decorates the interior as a shrine to remember one of the darkest periods in human history. I'm a Holocaust survivor. You could understand if Jay Ibsen wanted to forget, but the 87-year-old embraces his unsettling past. It always was troublesome being Jewish in Lithuania. Jay struggles with his voice these days, but his message is clear. We were put in a ghetto, and everything we had of value, they took away. In 1941, a six-year-old Jay, his parents, along with thousands of fellow Jews, were confined to an area teeming with armed guards, coming and going, not an option. It was a barbed wire compound. Thousands did not make it. And they started selection who was gonna live and who was gonna die. His father, an attorney, lied about his profession. The decision most likely saved his life. Those that went to the right survived. Those that went to the left were taken and executed. In 1943, Jay's family broke out. A farmer Help them hide. I was the first one to escape through the Bob wire. Jay and his relatives endured unimaginable conditions in an underground hole for six months. Lice and mice, dirt and pee. We went in a bucket. Miraculously, the family survived. After the war, the Ibsens eventually reached Richmond in 1947, where his mother's relatives lived and worked. Well, it was the beginning of a new life. The Ibsens flourished, opening an auto parts store. Jay joined the U.S. military and became a pilot. There is no way that I could return that privilege that his country has granted me and my family. One of Jay's crowning achievements happened 20 years ago this year. The community was proud for me. Jay co-founded the Virginia Holocaust Museum on East Cary Street in 2003. Many of the artifacts on display came from his own collection. This is a marvel. Ellie Ibsen, Jay's wife of 63 years, says her husband remains resolute. He doesn't want to forget because he doesn't want it to happen again. He feels this is why he was saved, to teach tolerance and education and to get along with people. Esther Ibsen Mentor admires her father's tenacity and willingness to share his painful story. Never forgets. This is one thing he'll never forget. No matter what else happens in his world, in his life, he'll never forget the Holocaust. I devoted my life to it because future generations are not going to know. Jay Ibsen is a man on a mission, determined to educate and remember. That's the story of the Holocaust. We're all the same. God made us in his image.